forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. We had another cloudy day across the area, as you can tell by our time lapse, just overcast conditions. Actually, right around 3 a.m., there was some light fog that developed, a little bit of moisture in the atmosphere, some peaks of filtered sunshine through the day, but no rainfall. The rain, where is it coming from? Where has it been here? Well, it's pretty much just off towards our west. A few locations have seen a little bit of rain, but at least with the cloudy skies and this wind coming in out of the southwest uh, for some days now, we have been staying a little bit milder than some of the other days. But as we go into the beginning of next week's work week, anticipating highs to get just above the average, which is right around 50 degrees to kick off the work week. But then we will start to cool back down into about five degrees below average with highs dropping down into the uh, mid and upper 40s. High temperatures today, 50 degrees in Green Bay, 48 in Anigo, 52 in Wapaka, also in Fond du Lac, 50 degrees even in Sheboygan. Our average high for this time of year is 52, so one degree shy below the average for this time of year. Record high, 76 back in 1927. So we just add on another day of below average temperatures for October so far. Now we are the coolest start since 2009, almost 10 years ago. We are seeing temperatures now have cooled down into the mid and upper 40s. 44 in Green Bay right now, as well as in Mountain, upper 40s and uh, along the Fox cities, even in Clintonville. Shano, a little cooler along the lakeshore with mid 40s. Winds are pretty calm right now, but they are changing out of the east and northeast. That's because of that approaching storm system that's going to be making its way into our area by tomorrow. You see it on radar and satellite over our northern, uh, over our west and northwest, but pretty quiet right now over the Badger State. We're literally in between two storm systems, one over Michigan and one over the upper Midwest and the northern plains. This one is going to be tracking eastward as it moves in, and you can even see a little swirling rotation right over north. Dakota moving into western Minnesota. That's the center of low pressure that's tracking this way and will be making its way here by early tomorrow morning. Rainfall continuing until the early afternoon, then behind it will start to dry out for the beginning of the work week. So here's how Skycast is panning it out as we go into tonight. An isolated rain shower, sure it's possible, but we're not anticipating any steady rainfall until tomorrow morning. And you see that developing from the southwest moving up to the northeast. Rainfall continues into the mid and late morning hours. So you'll need a jacket if perhaps you're going to church or doing something in the early morning. Then as we get into the afternoon, the system pretty much moves out of the area. Can't rule out an isolated shower in the afternoon and evening, but most of us will remain dry. And as we get into Monday, the clouds should start to gradually erode. And we're thinking probably partly cloudy to mostly clear skies by the late afternoon and early evening hours. So how much rain are we talking about here? Most of us probably about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, but there could be some locally higher totals, especially down to the south and west you go, for example, in parts of Washera County, Green Lake, uh, Marquette counties, and extreme southern Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties. This is with our latest Skycast forecast. But as we go into next week, it's going to be a dry forecast, especially for Halloween. So that's good news. On Wednesday, we're concerned a little bit of rainfall. That looks to be passing down to the south of us for now. 42 degrees, overnight low temperature, isolated sprinkle possible, light winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the northeast. Winds will start to change out of the north and northwest as we go on to the day tomorrow once that low pressure passes through. High temperature, a little cooler, upper 40s. With the rain showers makes sense, bringing some cooler air from higher aloft. Sunshine returns on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Increase in cloud cover on Thursday. Highs all in the 50s through Wednesday, and then a little cooler on Thursday. Another chance of some rainfall as we get into the day on Friday. And then behind that system, we do cool off on Saturday with highs in the lower 40s. There is also a slight chance that maybe on Friday there could be a few wet snowflakes that mix in with that, but I'm not anticipating any accumulation. I'm keeping it out for right now because it's kind of far out. Sometimes they overdo the cold air, and then as we get closer, it warms up. For you, that's good news. Yeah, that's good news. Yeah, no, no snow for <laughs> Charco's golf forecast. Also good news. Nice to see the nice Halloween forecast on Wednesday. Should yes. be a good day. Shouldn't be too bad. Just need a light jacket for trick-or-treating. Definitely. Thanks, Gino. Coming up on NBC 26 at 6.